Okay, so this video shows you how to do electron configurations. If we look at the periodic table and we look at any particular element, like fluorine for example, if we look at the number at the bottom, the atomic number, that's the number of protons, which is equal to the number of electrons. So fluorine has nine electrons, and we need to decide how they are arranged. So the way we draw that is we put the capital letter and the symbol for the uh, element, and we draw the first shell um, of electrons around it. Now in the first shell, it can only hold a maximum of two electrons. Once those two electrons are in the shell, that's it's full and you have to start the next one. So then we start the next shell, which can hold a maximum of eight electrons. Now in fluorine, there are only nine electrons. We've used two of them already. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So in that outer shell, you can see there's a total of seven, so there's one space left. So that's the electron configuration for fluorine, and we can write that as two comma seven as a shorthand way of showing it. Okay. Um, you'll notice as well the electrons are represented with crosses. If we look at lithium, lithium is a group one metal which has a total of three electrons. So we put two electrons in the first shell and then start the next shell and we only have one electron left. So that's the electron configuration for lithium which we would write as two comma one. For magnesium we now have 12 electrons, so again the number at the bottom. So we have our first shell, second shell, and this time we're going to need a third shell because we have 12 in total. So we put two into the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's now full, and we have two left to get to 12, which we put in our outer shell. The final one, potassium. Potassium has the symbol K, so it has a total of 19 electrons, so we put 2 into the first shell until it's full, then we start the second shell, and again we put our electrons in, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, that one's now full, so we start the next one, so we've used 10 out of our 19 electrons so far, so 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now that shell's full, so now we actually need to start a fourth shell to hold that one remaining electron in place. And we can write the electron configuration for magnesium as two comma eight comma two and for potassium as two, which was in the first shell, eight eight in the third shell, and then one in the final shell.